Strong-willed, stubborn, high needs, sensitive. <laughs> These are a few ways parents describe their babies and young children, especially when we're talking about their sleep. So how does this affect choosing the best sleep training approach for your little one? Stay tuned and I'll show you how to understand your child's temperament traits and the best ways to help them sleep soundly. In my last video, I talked about sleep training methods and I touched on the relevance of temperament when figuring out the best method for your child. I explained how some babies sleep soundly from an early age while you're still struggling months or even years on with your little one's sleep. And this is all because what suits one temperament will not suit another. So we have to determine the most suitable and tailored approach to helping your little one sleep to the best of his or her ability so that you'll feel refreshed, healthier and happier and you'll see your child's development, behaviour and enjoyment flourish. In this video, I want to delve a little deeper into temperament traits so you can better understand what approach will suit your little one so you don't waste time trying things that aren't right for your child, possibly making things worse and ultimately giving up and thinking nothing works because it will all work just fine when we pinpoint the right approach for your child. There are nine core temperament traits and your little one might show strong traits in some of these while sit quite neutrally in others. I've created a handy chart showing the traits and the different behaviours you might see from your child in each category. So get the download via the link below um, as this is like a secret weapon of knowledge for a parent. <sighs> if your little one is more alert, sensitive, super switched on and focused, you'll likely find he has a harder time settling to sleep. And I'll bet that's a large number of you watching this video because you're clearly being a proactive parent and looking for answers and information. A child like this is going to need a finely tuned approach to helping him sleep well. Something generic from a book or online will most likely not be enough as these little ones need more bespoke tailoring in the sleep training approach you use. If your little one is the alert type, you may find he's easily stimulated and your attempts to soothe him actually fuel his fussiness further. Toddlers of this temperament often progress better with a less stimulating response from you. You still respond, but you also give him some space to self-regulate without the stimulating engagement. The more easygoing kiddos tend to respond pretty well to any method, so long as it's implemented consistently. Perhaps something from a book or even just a really good routine and rhythm to their day, and they get the hang of settling to sleep with these pretty straightforward cues. Some parents, not the ones watching this of course, don't even realise they've sleep trained their baby because the temperament, the parenting style and the routine just all aligned and baby learned with ease. Good them. <laughs> no, honestly, good for them. If your baby or young child has a strong dependency on you doing something to or for him in order for him to get to sleep, I recommend softly transitioning away from that thing and offering close comfort and reassurance as part of a process to effectively wean him off that dependency or association and help him to develop a more sustainable means of falling asleep. Being able to put oneself to sleep, however, is a learned skill, meaning we learn it rather than are born knowing how to do it. Much like walking and talking, pottying and later on riding a bike, we learn by example and guidance. Sleep is no different. One in four babies will have a behavioural sleep challenge. Some of these will be largely temperament based and parents are there having to navigate the minefield of counterintuitive facts about sleep to figure out the best approach to help their child. Yep, that was me. <laughs> you can thank my son for the sleep nanny existing. Others will be due to habits that went on beyond the first six months. And let's face it, there is no universal manual on this that can tell us parents the answers. 
Whatever led you to the sleep difficulties you're experiencing with your little one, or perhaps you're just educating yourself ahead of time so you're equipped to guide your baby effectively, hats off to you. Understanding your little one's temperament will give you a huge advantage when it comes to helping him sleep soundly. And in fact, as he grows, you'll find this understanding helps you parent him most effectively too. So don't forget to hit the link below to download your temperament chart. And you can also take our brilliant little quiz to determine the best approach to sleep training for your child based on his temperament traits. The links are below, so grab those now. If this has been helpful or insightful, write in the comments below what it is that you've liked best. And if you know someone who would benefit from watching this, then please do pay it forward and share this with them too. Until next time, sleep soundly, live with vibrance, and make your impact today.